with the system boss Darren Stamp a point, probably a fair result in the end? Yeah, I think I think on the balance of things, I think a point would have been a fair result there for both teams. Um, we knew what it was going to be like, knew what the pitch was going to be like, you know there's a big slope, so it's going to be a game of two halves. You know that when you're uphill into that slope, it's going to be tough. And to be fair, first half I thought was magnificent. I thought we stood up to everything, we dealt with everything. Again, two set halves have been magnificent for us the last few weeks. Um, and the same again in the first half today. So we knew getting into half time with a clean sheet would be big and give us a chance for the second half. Being brutally honest, probably don't think we've done enough in the second half to win the game. Um, it'd have been lovely if Aidan Canada slotted that one at the end, but I think, yeah, like you said, point after that, I think it's a fair result and a, an extra point for us to take now with us into the rest of the season. And having on a goal down, just that character again to get something out of the game. Yeah, I think it was so frustrating from our point of view. Um, we, to be fair, I didn't think we looked like conceding at all. And then it's sloppy, like edge of the box, missed, I mean, right, come to right instead of shooting, tries to take it past one. Then we give a foul away just in our own half, then the corner. Yes, he thinks he's been fouled. I've just said to the referee there, have a look at the video and, and see what you think. But it looked like a blatant foul. Not a lot we can do now. He said he'll apologise if he's got it wrong. But like he says, there's not a lot we can do about it now. But then to come back from that the character 1-0 down you think it's no points in the game but like you say the buzz in the dressing room we, we know we've got that character now so we've, we've shown again we'll come back get that point and hopefully it'll be a, a big one now to the end of the season and Bailey Conway in the middle of the park getting his first goal full of energy full of endeavour in the middle of the park and Bailey's, Bailey's been superb since he's joined the club he really has um, he looks like he, he's coming for a youth game sometimes when he turns up you think wow but the, I've never seen anybody be as physical and get stuck in every game um, and it's great to see him get forward as well because we know he can do that and again he's slotted it away well I think people might be a little bit disappointed but no matter what it's, it's a great goal and, and like I said there's a point today which, which we'll take and run with If you don't shoot you don't score No that's it um, I think Waldo will have probably fancied it more when it's dropped to him um, he's had a couple today and again without them being clear cut chances but like you say whoever's there at that moment in time and Bellis took it well for him But we're still in the playoffs but he's this running out of games now but looking positive yeah, I mean, we've got five games from now to the end of the season and, and I think the good thing for us is that we know it's in our hands. Um, we've, we've put ourselves in a great position. Um, again, I was hoping for three points today, but you chalk the away games off and see if you can come away with a point because we know now we've turned into that team where we're at home, we're expansive, we play our football and we're creating chances where we're, we're getting results now as well. Um, so, big game for us next Saturday, Warrington, but they're all going to be big now. Like I say, five cup finals between now and the end of the season. Hopefully give ourselves the best chance and, and, and see what happens come the end of the season. And Warrington, one of those sides just outside the playoffs, so almost a six-pointer. Yeah, I think I think the good thing for us is we've got Warrington to play, we've got Radcliffe to play because, to be fair, you look at the teams in our league at the moment, we tend to do, be do better against the teams that are up at the top with us. Um, we've struggled this season against the teams that are down there and that's because they're fighting for their lives as well. So, again, get Warrington on our home pitch. We'll, Already, we've been there at the, um, earlier in the season and beat them 2 0 and put in a good performance. So, hopefully, back on our own pitch, we'll put in another good performance and, and hopefully get three points. Just to ask, game. what do you put that struggle down to? Obviously, teams are coming out fighting for their lives, but is there something more to it than that that you can work on? No, I don't think so. I, I think mentally, it's that I wouldn't ever question the lads' mentality. It's nothing to do with that. It's um, we. We want to play in the big game, some of these lads, like the South Shield, your Hyde, your teams that are up there, we, we seem to always do well against them. Um, so luckily we've got a couple of games of them um, between now and the end of the season and on our home patch as well, which is going to be another good one Saturday. Hopefully we'll get a, a buzzing crowd there again, big crowd, because the fans have been magnificent. Um, hopefully get a buzz around the ground next Saturday and, and get a good three points that will serve as well to the end of the season. Cheers, Dumpy. No worries. Cheers, Rob.